going to be out. It is out. So that is a big breakthrough. That really is. Now, this is a really interesting time for new batsmen to come to the crease. Oh, got him. There's the neck. Dean Elgar's on his way, so he's got a stick as Pandya. Really good work from him. Runs today. Now he's got a couple of wickets. It's exactly what he was working at, and he's been successful. Oh, is that out? Has it carried? Yes, right. Sharma seems to think he's got his fingers underneath it. This could be the ideal start for India. Unless there's conclusive evidence that the ball has lobbed before. Like it was uh, two days ago when uh, Virat Kohli went uh, for a similar low catch. You could see that the ball had landed just before it went into Virat's hands. Here you cannot see that. Well, they have to stick with the original decision. And edged and brilliantly taken. So the plan has worked. Just a little short bouncing. Rabara normally gets onto the front foot. Suddenly he's been pinned onto the back foot. He doesn't know what's happening, and that is a fine catch by the Indian captain. Like that, and up goes the finger. That is another big wicket. Fafta Pussi has got an absolute beauty. I have no idea how you play that. Unplayable delivery. It was quick, it was well directed, and nothing Fafta Pussi could have done about that. Past the inside edge, I think, was there a noise? They've gone up in a big way. Are they going to send it upstairs? Ultra edge. There is a mark. Right, this is a huge decision. I think we've seen enough evidence. Out. Out. Fingers gone up. The question is, did he get a nick? Or did it strike him outside the off stump? It's hit him on the knee roll. Yep. Right on target. Importantly, the wicket is lost. On. That's what he needs to do. That's the line and the length required. It's a good delivery, good line and length. Maharaj, you see, just pushes at it. Yeah, just found. Straight up and gone. Very good bouncer. No position. Soho's 10th catch in the game. How far has it gone? Not far enough. Not far enough. Tried to clear the man in the deep. Tried to clear the boundary. Didn't quite get hold of it, A.B. de Villiers. So, South Africa, all out for 130. Up in the air and gone. There's the first one. Have a look. It's an initial moment and then he looked to fend it away, half pull it. Gets a leading edge, simple catch there. Africa right in the game now. Well, he did nothing wrong, but it was just such a good delivery. He just went towards the ball, didn't really push it too hard. A.B. De Villiers making no mistake. Picture and gone again. Oh, wow. Terrific delivery. Look at that around the off stump, holding its line just a little bit. It's a fuller delivery. Came back in. How high did it hit? On the roll. So that's not above the roll. Normally when it hits above the roll, there's a bit chance of it going over the top. Ultra edge. Uh, nothing on the bat. Just on the pad. All now down to Hawkeye. The impact will be in line. Yes, it's in line. You can see that because it's played across the line. And it's hitting the stamps. So that is a huge hit. It's a big wicket. Ball game. Vernon Flander again. Look at that. How far out.
outside the off stump was that ball. Did you need to play at it? You can see from the release that it was bold wide. One. One more down. Oh, just hanging his bat out. A little late movement from Rabada. Look at that, hanging his bat out to dry. And Abi de Villiers making no mistake. Sharp catch. He's taking it well, Abi de Villiers. the line of all stop no bat involved straight onto the pad but perhaps just brushing the pad but the ball straight into the pad nothing between ball and bat let's see has it done too much and pass ball just clipping the leg stump